welcome back to this channel my name is jacinta Okwa. i'm a property expert based here in enugu state nigeria on this channel i talk about real estate investment and about real estate construction if this is your first time of crossing this channel then welcome to this channel and all you need to do is to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be getting notified once i upload my content okay so today i'll bring to you another amazing real estate topic which is how to invest in nigeria or how to buy land or real estate in nigeria without being scammed okay i know that a lot of clients or a lot of people have been scammed severally in nigeria when they are trying to invest in real estate and you know that investing in real estate here in nigeria is a very big risk and it's more riskier when you're investing from diaspora but when you fall into the right hand your investment will go smooth without any fear of scamming but when you fall at the wrong hand where you get to lose your money you get pained as well so this is why i bring this topic to you today to know the basic things you need to know when investing in real estate especially when you're investing from diaspora okay all you need to do is to sit back and watch this video to the end as i explain the ways you need to go when you want to invest in real estate without being scammed okay authenticity so the very major thing you need to consider or you need to watch out for when buying land or when investing in real estate here in Nigeria is to check out how authentic the property you are buying is does this property that you want to buy really exist how sure that this land exists and how sure is is free from government acquisition or any encumbrance like family issues either is not used for mortgage or for loan so these are the things you are not certain about you need to be sure that this land is genuine and is free from all these encumbrances this is where you need to ask for the document of that land that the land has a seal of all governor's consent you, you need to ask for the document of the land and when you are the it's your first time of buying real estate you don't know the one that is a c of o a governor concept then that's where you're going to use the real estate professionals either you use the estate surveyor and valuer or you call in for the lawyer so that they can go through this document and identify that this document really exists and this property really exists and this property really has this um, title and it's actually free from any encumbrance so you need to get in a real estate professional that will go through this document and actually identify that this land is genuine so they can do this in different ways either they go through the land search by conducting the land search in the land registry that is in the ministry of lands or they will use the survey plan of that particular land that you are buying to pick the coordinates and act and go to the site by checking that what is on the survey plan is actually what is on the ground so once they identify this and know that the land is genuine then your authenticity is very sure if you're in nigeria then I advise you always go for the site inspection see the land you are buying and if possible conduct your due diligence before making your payment number two is have a trusted realtor there are a lot of real estate agents out there but how are you going to get a trusted one the one you can trust that 
he or she is genuine so you need to have a real talk that can help you especially when you are not here in nigeria so go throughout this stress of going for the site inspection identifying that the land is genuine and making sure that you make your payment in the right place so it's very easy to identify a genuine realtor or a genuine real estate agent identify also by the person's reaction if it's not all this quick quick um realtors that they are that are only after the money they are not actually there to help you make the right investment they are just there to get your money and after that they leave you they don't want to help you in making the right investment so you can actually identify a trusted real estate agent by interacting with the person ask the person some questions you you will now hear how the person respond and you can ascertain that this person really knows what he or she is doing so once you identify with a, a realtor that you cannot trust this will help you not to get scammed when you are investing in real estate in nigeria okay so the next one is payment so when you want to make payments of a land here in nigeria you have to be sure that you are making your payments to the right person or to the right real estate developer or land that you are buying so do not send money to relatives many clients have called me and have told me about how they have been scammed either by their relatives or their trusted friends or even anybody so these days trusting people is very hard but once you get someone that is genuine then it is better you work with that person so do not send money to relatives that is when you want to make the payment you say you want to send the money down to the relatives before the relative not send the money most people have lost a huge or uh, have lost their hard-earned money through that way so what you need to do when you want to make payments for a land or for any property here in Nigeria is getting the account number of the real estate developer or of the developer of that land you make sure that his name corresponds with the accounts that you are giving if he's giving you a different account number maybe say the um his name is frederick and he's telling you to make payments to um, another account that is very standing so you need to be very sure that this account is interconnected if they don't have a global or um, if the real estate company doesn't have a company account you ask for the developer himself his account you ask for his name and ask for his account and make your payment if they have a company account then you can make make sure that the company name correspond with the company account they are giving you to make your payment okay so this way you are making sure that you are making payment to the right person then the next thing is do not make your payment in cash so you know the only statement that the court understand is evidence so do not make your payments in cash always make your payments either in transfer or something that has an evidence of payment that can print out a, a receipt so once you make your payments ensure that you have been issued a receipt or a contract of self from that company or from that individual that you just bought that land from so these basically are the major ways that you can make real estate investments here in nigeria without being scammed okay so the number one is um, involving real estate uh, professionals that will help you to identify the property and to identify how genuine the property is then the next thing is using a verified real estate agent or a trusted real estate agent then the number three is um, do not make payments to a relatives or to a friend make sure you make your payments to the right real estate developer or to the right land owner that you are 
that you are buying that land from and do not make payments in cash so if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as well so i'll be getting this type of content anytime i upload them okay so if you have any question concerning buying land here in nigeria or buying property here in nigeria drop them at the comment section and i will gladly answer them okay thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video have a great day and bye for now Thank you.